Witnesses say this mosque was packed with hundreds of worshippers on Thursday evening when an airstrike hit the village of El Gina in western Aleppo province. Throughout the night and into Friday, people were scrambling to pull survivors trapped in the rubble. The jets attacked at 7 p.m. last night. They made four sorties and attacked the mosque. At this point, 35 killed, more than 25 missing, and more than 20 people injured. <laughs> U.S. Central Command confirmed an airstrike targeting an al-Qaeda meeting in Idlib. The U.S. spokesman says several al-Qaeda members were killed in a building 15 meters from a mosque, which remained standing. When asked about the precise location of the airstrike, the spokesman said it was unclear. He said allegations of civilian deaths will be investigated. The confusion over the exact position of the airstrike and who is responsible may be due to the crowded airspace over Syria's battlefields. The Turkish-backed Free Syrian Army controls El Gina village, and Syrian government forces are in the area. They are backed by the Russian government and its significant air power. Last year, the U.S. admitted to killing 24 civilians during an airstrike in Menbij. A military spokesman says during the July attack, ISIL fighters were the target. Human rights groups put the toll at more than 70 people, mostly women and children. The Menbij incident is thought to be the deadliest U.S. attack involving civilians during the war in Syria. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep, Turkey.